The Stellar sea cow Hydrodomalus gigas is an extinct herbivorous marine mammal. It is the largest member of the Ordus Irenia, which includes its closest living relative, the dugong, and the manortes. They reached up to 9 meters in length, making the Stellar sea cow among the largest mammals other than whales to have existed in the Holocene epoch. Stellar sea cow was first described by Georg Wilhelm Stella, although the Stellar's sea cow had formerly been abundant throughout the North Pacific. By the mid 1700s, its range had been limited to a single, isolated population surrounding the uninhabited Commander Islands. It was hunted for its meat, skin, and fat by fur traders, and was also hunted by aboriginals of the North Pacific coast. Within 27 years of discovery by Europeans, the slow moving and easily captured Stella's sea cow was hunted to extinction. Description and Ecology The sea cow grew to at least 26 to 30 feet in length as an adult much larger than the manatee at Dugong. However, concerning the weight, Stella's work contains two contradictory estimates, 4.4 and 26.8 short tons. The true value is estimated to lie between these figures, at around 9 to 11 short tons. The large size was probably to reduce the surface area at a volume ratio and conserve heat. The four limbs, according to Stella, were used as sort of a hold fast to anchor themselves down to prevent being swept away by the strong nearshore waves around the habitat. Unlike other Sarinians, the Stella's sea cow was positively buoyant, meaning they could not completely submerge. They had a thick epidermis to prevent injury from abrasions on sharp rocks and ice, and possibly to prevent prevent the skin that is not submerged from drying out. Its head was small and short compared to the huge body. The upper lip was large and broad, and extended so far beyond the mandible that the mouth appeared to be located underneath the skull. Instead of teeth, Stella's sea cow had a dense array of white bristles, 1.5 inches long, which were used to pull out seaweed and hold food, and used keratinous plates for chewing. According to Stella, these plates, or mass Masticatory bones were held together by papillae and had many small holes for nerves and arteries. The rostrum was pointed downwards, as in all Sarinians, to better grasp kelp. Like other Sarinians, the Stella's sea cow was an obligate herbivore, and kelp was most likely the main food source. They may have also fed on sea grasses, but they could not have been a main food source while supporting a viable population, because they did not occur in sufficient numbers. Since they floated, they most likely fed on canopy kelp. Kelp releases a chemical deterrent to prevent grazing, but canopy kelp release a lower concentration, allowing the sea cows to graze without developing resistance. Whether or not Stella's sea cows had any predators is unknown. They may have been hunted by killer whales and sharks, but the buoyancy may have made it difficult for killer whales to drown them, and the rocky kelp forests may have protected them from sharks. According to Stella, the young were kept into positions wherein the adults would guard them from predators. Taxonomy and range. The Stella's sea cow is a direct descendant of the Cuesta sea cow, a tropical sea cow of California. It most likely went extinct due to the onset of the ice ages and the subsequent cooling of the oceans. Individuals who were less than capable of adapting died out, and those that could started the lineage of the Stella's sea cow. The Stella's sea cow is a member of the genus Hydrodomalus, a group of large large Sirenians, whose sister taxon was Dusosarian. Much like the Stella sea cow, the ancestors of the Dusosarian were tropical mangrove variety, 
who adapted to the cold climates of the North Pacific and are consuming kelp. Stella Sikau was discovered in the mid-18th century by Georg Wilhelm Stella and subsequently named after him, who studied a relic population near Bering Island while he was shipwrecked there. His account was written in his posthumous publication De Bestes Marines, or The Beasts of the Sea. In 1811, naturalist Johann Karl Wilhelm Alliger placed the Stella's sea cow under the genus Retina, which many writers at the time adopted. However, the animal had already been classified well before this. Zoologist Eberhard August Wilhelm von Zimmermann had described its specific name as Gigas in 1780, and biologist Anders Johann Retzius 17 years before Religia had described the sea cow as Retina had placed it under the genus Hydrodomalis. He, however, described its specific name as Stella as Stella was the first person to describe it. It wasn't until the 1900s that Hydrodomalus giga was used. The range at the time of the discovery was apparently restricted to the Commander Islands, though fossils discovered dating to the late Pleistocene were found in Monterey Bay, California. The first fossils discovered outside the Commander Islands were interglacial Pleistocene deposits in Amchi. There is evidence that sea cows also inhabited the near islands during historic times. Extinction. The Stella's sea cow was quickly wiped out by the sailors, seal hunters, and fur traders who followed Vitus Bering's route past the islands to Alaska, who hunted it for its meat before sailing to nearby islands in search of sea otter pelts. It was also hunted for its valuable subcutaneous fat which was not only used for food, but also for oil lamps because it did not give off any smoke or odor and could be kept for a long time in warm weather without spoiling. By 1768, 27 years after it had been discovered by Europeans, Stella's sea cow was extinct. It has been argued that the Stella's sea cow's decline may have also been an indirect response to the harvest of sea otters by Aboriginal people, from the inland areas. With the otters reduced, the population of sea urchins would have increased and reduced availability of kelp, the sea cow's primary source of food. Thus, aboriginal hunting of both species may have contributed to the sea cow's disappearance from continental shorelines. In historic times, though, aboriginal hunting had depleted sea otter populations only in localized areas. The sea cow would would have been easy prey for aboriginal hunters, who would likely have exterminated accessible populations with or without simultaneous otter hunting. In any event, the sea cow was limited to coastal areas off islands without a human population by the time Bering arrived, and was already endangered. It is possible that the extinction of these remaining endangered populations of sea cow could have been affected solely by the hunting of the sea cow for meat by fur trading mariners of the time, and no other factors need contributed. Zoologist Leonhard Herstegnager estimated in 1887 that there had been fewer than 1,500 individuals remaining at the time of the discovery, and thus had been in immediate danger of extinction. Portrayals in Media Tales of a Sea Cow is a 2012 film by Icelandic French artist Etienne de France, documenting a fictional 2006 rediscovery by scientists of a population of Stella's sea cows off the coast of Greenland via sound recordings of the calls. This film has been exhibited in public institutions such as art museums and universities in Europe. Art critic Anik Bureau found the film a tongue-in-cheek and joyous but unsettling fable.